Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite masks. Masks are one of my favorite parts of skincare. I use one maybe two or three times a week, depending on how my skin is doing, and I also switch up the mask depending on what my skin is going through at the time. I'm going to start off with one that I've talked about before in a bunch of videos. This is the Philosophy Purity Mask. This mask is one of my favorites because it is so simple to use. You put it on, you rub it in until it turns white, and you leave it on for 60 seconds and then you rinse it off. When you rinse this off, your skin feels so soft, smooth, um, purified. It gives you a really nice deep clean without stripping all of your natural oils, um, as well as leaving you nice and glowing. Some of the important ingredients in this are sea salts, marine extracts, and vitamin E, which all work together to purify, detoxify, and leave your skin healthier and softer. When I'm feeling particularly spotty or having a breakout, I tend to opt for this. This is the Mint and Lemon Mask from Freeman. This is a clay mask. It's got kaolin clay in it, um, which helps to dry out the pores. Um, it's also got mint and lemon, like it says in it. Those help to get really in there and purify, as well as cool and refresh your skin. This is one of your more traditional clay masks. You apply this and you let it dry until it's kind of hard. And then I use a warm, wet washcloth and I press it to kind of rehydrate the mask and then use circular motions to get it off. That also helps to exfoliate the skin a little bit after you've purified. <sighs> My favorite peel-off mask is this from number seven. It's the Beautiful Skin Energizing Mask. On days that I have a little bit more time in the morning, or maybe I'm doing something special, I like to apply this one to a clean, dry face, leave it on for about 15 minutes, and then peel it off, and then continue with the rest of my skincare routine. This leaves me so radiant and gorgeous. It kind of peels off the excess dead skin sitting on the top layer, and kind of just refreshes the skin. It leaves you a little bit more radiant, dewy, awake looking, and fresh. I don't opt for a peel-off mask on a day-to-day -day or even week-to-week -week basis just because I find them to be a hassle. I kind of leave this one for more special occasions or days when I really just want to look extra radiant. On days when I'm having drier skin or just need something a little bit more soothing, this is the Ultra Soothing White Clay Mask from Coast to Coast. This is Wild Rosella and Organic Aloe, and this is a little sample, but I've actually probably used this about 10 times. I find this... Um, to be great because I can use a very little bit just on where I'm having my drier skin or I can apply it to the whole face and it works just as well. This is another one of those clay masks that you apply, leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse off. It, this one doesn't dry as much as the Freeman mask does but it does kind of give you a little bit of that dry down but it's not tight or pulling on the skin so this is nicer for those that have drier skin. While moisturizing the skin, this one also detoxifies and purifies the pores as well. The last mask I have to talk about is this from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Cucumber Gel Mask, and this is kind of my everything mask. This is their Extreme Detoxifying Hydrator. It is purifying, slightly exfoliating, and definitely hydrating. I am obsessed with this. If you read on the front, it has a huge list of very good for your skin ingredients, as well as some descriptive words as to what it's doing. Refreshing, cooling, moisturizing, calming gel. This helps soothe dry, irritated skin. And it's got the extracts of cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar, maple, sugar cane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe. And this is for all skin types. I love this mask because I can apply it for about 10 minutes. And as soon as I take it off, my skin feels calmed. There's no redness anymore. And it feels nice um, and supple. I feel like my skin just soaks this up. And it's just a great mask. Another use for this mask is as an overnight treatment. After your regular evening skincare routine, you can apply a very thin layer of this, let it soak in and go right to bed, and when you wake up, you're gonna have the most moisturized skin you ever thought you could wake up with, and once you finish your morning skincare routine, your skin just looks nice and refreshed. Usually after I do this, instead of going on with my regular skincare routine, I just take a little bit of toner and then go in with my moisturizers and things, and I just feel nice and deeply nourished. Alright, well I hope you all enjoyed this quick little video about my five favorite skincare masks. If you have any suggestions for masks that I should try out in the future, leave those below. I'm looking for a really good exfoliating mask. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at John John Talks, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my god. I cannot. I like literally I cannot wait to do a tutorial with this. This is everything. It has 
everything that I want in a palette, um, including a matte black, so you don't have to...